What's going on, Hit Squad? This your main man, Hitman, and I am back <laughs> once again with the daily spawn updates for Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. This is for the family heirlooms, all our jewelry, the coins, the arrowheads, the flowers, the antique alcohol bottles, all tarot cards, the bird eggs, and the fossils. Today is Tuesday, May the 11th, and as I say each and every video, Smash that thumbs up button if you find this video any bit informative or helpful in any type of way. And if you're watching, just browsing, just checking out the channel, just checking out the cycles, just checking out me in general. Make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell so you guys can get each and every video that I do put out. Because I do put out videos each and every day. Um, if you guys want to know Madam Nazar's location any bit earlier than this video, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Hitman Miyagi T. How to spell that will be right below the video. There's a hashtag down there and in the description box below. It'll be down in there as well. Uh, first things first, I want to get to Madam Nazar, then the Caribbean romantic alcohol bottle as usual. But... Uh, I want to make sure you guys know, let me know anything that could help me out with that helps me out with the channel. I don't take it in any type of negative way. Even if I do, I respond in a positive way. I try to. <laughs> um, but if you guys think there's any way that could help me help the channel out or do anything better for you guys. Let me know down in the description box below of any video. It don't have to be in the latest one. You can go back uh, a year and post it in that video if you want to. Uh, just so it could be a little bit more, I guess, a little bit more private, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Or hit me up on Instagram or Twitter. I'll answer maybe. Who knows? <laughs> but... First things first, let's get to Madame Nazar's location, which is today she's right up here above Valentine, Cumberland Forest area. She's right here by the word window rock, by this little shack where this Caribbean bottle usually be. But she's right here and she will be here until 2 a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time, New York time zone, East Coast time zone for those of you who don't know or not of America. How I personally get to her when she's in this area, I'll simply just fast travel to F Valentine and I won't set a waypoint. If I do set a waypoint, it's just like basically as a marker. So I know I'm heading in the right direction on the map, but I've made this travel so many times in my life or over the, the years of me playing the game, I know exactly how to get there without using a waypoint. So I, I take this road down here past the saloon, past the... Um, the sheriff office or whatever you want to call it I go right here until I get to this little fork in the road and when I get here I go straight across till I get to this dotted line when I get to this dotted line I just follow the dotted line down and around to her location that's exactly how I get there I wouldn't put any camps or anything around in this area because there's no point in moving your camp you're wasting money it's Red Dead Redemption. Play the game. Ride. You can ride your horse. <laughs> it's, it's part of the game. I mean, you know. But she will be there until 2 a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time, New York Time Zone, as I said. East Coast Time Zone. Let's get to the Caribbean Rum, which today it's in Van Horn. Right here, next to this dark line right here, there's a boat on the second uh I want to call it second floor or second level of this boat. You will find the Caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle. And that's where it is. Let's go over or down to where we usually handle business, which is the St. Denis, Saint Denis Roads, uh, Le Moyne area of the map. Uh, anyway. <laughs> The cycles for today, Tuesday, May the 11th, are Family Heirloom Cycle 1, All Lost Jury Cycle 6, 
Coin Cycle 3, Arrowhead Cycle 3, Wildflower Cycle 3, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 6, All Terra Card Cycle 5, Bird Eggs Cycle 6, and Fossil Cycle 1. Remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there. The cycles, a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils, and how to spell the Twitter and Instagram for the channel. Let's get to the things that we will find across this area of the map. And we're going to start up and over here in the corner, kind of where we usually start. Right over here, there's a, a tear card on a barrel right here at this location. There's a barrel like inside the house, but this house is not a house. It's a burned down house. It's a ruined house, as Red Dead calls it. But right here at this location, you guys will get a 10 of wands on a barrel inside the house. Let's go over a little bit to the W of Blue Water. Right here at this location, along the coastline, there's a boat. And on this boat, go through the door and into that little room right there, right by the little washing table, the sink area. There's an ivory comb family heirloom right there, that location. Let's go down to our first marker, which is right here. Right here at this location, you guys will get a fossil, a random fossil. I cannot tell you guys which fossil it will be, but right here at this location, come over here with your metal detector and your shovel, and that's what you will get, a random fossil. Let's go over here to the left a little bit to this house or shack. Right here at this location, you guys will get a Durant Pearl Bracelet. It's on top of the fireplace. This Durant Pearl Bracelet is a lost jewelry. Let's go over just a little bit more outside the house. You can look over and use your eagle eye. There's a bird egg right here at this location of our next marker. There's a bird egg. This bird egg is a egret egg, E-G-R-E-T. It's in a tree. Shoot it down with a varmint rifle or a bow using a small game arrow. And right up here, quick little location. Come over here with your metal detector. Next to the stack of skulls, I say on the left side, with your metal detector, you will get a random lost jury right here at that location. Right here by the U and Bayou, right there, you guys will get another random fossil. So go get that as well. There's also, uh, you do need a metal detector for this fossil. There's also a tarot card here on this dock. And there's a tarot card next to this. Um, next to this moonshine shack. The tarot card on the dock is a page of pinnacles and the one next to the moonshine shack where the waypoint is now uh, is a eight of wands. So go get all that. Uh, let's go over a little bit to right here behind this mansion. There is another tarot card which is inside this gazebo. There's a Six of Wands tarot card and over to our next marker, which right here at this location, there is a family heirloom. This family heirloom is a horse hairbrush. It's on the table on the back deck or porch right here at this location. Let's go down to our next marker, which is a family. It's not a family anything. It's a tarot card. This tarot card is a Ten of Pentacles. It's on a bench right next to the entrance of the church right here at this location there's two benches there's one over here and there's one right about here make sure you go on this side that tarot card once again is a ten of pentacles let's go over to our next marker which is in the eye of saint right here at this location you guys will get a family heirloom this family heirloom is a ivory hairpin this ivory hairpin is on a white table with the chessboard on it. And on that chessboard, you guys will see a ivory hairpin. Let's go over to our next marker, which is right here in the backyard of this house right here. There's a big tree 
right around that big tree. Come over here with your metal detector and you will get another random lost jury. Let's go down to our next marker, which is a antique alcohol bottle. This antique alcohol bottle is a Irish whiskey bottle. This Irish whiskey bottle is in a broken boat next to a skeleton. So right here at this location, come over here with your nothing, with your, your horse or with yourself. Make sure you guys watch out for alligators and there's a, a legendary alligator that spawns over here. So make sure you watch out for that as well. But once again, that is a Irish whiskey antique alcohol bottle. Over here at our next marker, you guys will get a cardinal flower. It's the cardinal flower that spawns over here each and every day that helps me personally indicate exactly what cycle the flowers are on. Let's go to our next marker, which is a coin. It's a random coin. I cannot tell you guys exactly what coin you will get, but come over here right here inside this area. If you see this square behind my marker, there's uh, a, I want to call it, there's a rock outline of a house where I guess the house burned down and like the brick outline of the house is still there. Come right in the middle of that area with your metal detector and that's what you will get a coin, a random coin. Let's go down to our next marker, which is a random arrowhead. You do not need your marker for this one. Make sure you guys pay attention to the lines and all that stuff. Right here at this location is where the random arrowhead is. You, do, As I said, you do not need your metal detector for this one. You just need a shovel. Come right here at this location. It's right at the edge or right at the end of the cotton field that's right here. And all of this is cotton field and right at the edge of it, right at the end of it, you will find your dig spot, which is right here. Let's go up to roads. There's a couple things in roads I want to tell you guys about, which are once one of them is inside this saloon right here, right here at this location. Uh, the right here, there's two rooms. There's a room here on this corner and there's a room on this corner. The room right here in this corner, this top corner, there's a chair. And in, inside the room, on that chair, you guys will get a New Guinea Rosewood hairbrush, which is a family heirloom. There's another family heirloom over here on the side of this barn, right on this side of the barn. There's a barrel on the corner, and right next to that barrel, right where my waypoint is, you guys will get a dig spot. This dig spot is, you do not need your metal detector, you just need your shovel. This dig inside this dig spot, you guys will get a ebony hairpin. Let's bounce back over here, which you could have got this first, but I'm bouncing around for some reason. Right here at this location, inside this barn, you guys will get a two of pentacles. It's on the work table inside this barn. There's also another tarot card over here on the hanging platform, right here at this location. On the railing of this hanging platform is a Three of Swords tarot card. Did I say this one was a Two of Pentacles right here? If I didn't, that's what it is. Anywho, let's go up. I have a couple more things to tell you guys about, which one is right over here by the Southfield Flats area, right at the peak of this line. If you can see that very faint line in the map, right at the peak of it, like right about here. There's a scarecrow, and right in front of that scarecrow, pull out your metal detector and you will get a random lost jury. The next thing is at the back of this house, there's a wagon. And on that wagon, on the back of that wagon, you guys will get a Six of Pentacles tarot card. And one last thing, there's a bush right here. And that bush is a creek, creek plum flower remember this is a bush not like a flower flower anyway that's pretty much all that i have for you guys today uh if you guys don't know if you guys haven't paid attention to the updates for the game and all that stuff 
the trader roll is double money so make sure you guys do your trader roll if you don't have trader roll i think it's on sale uh for like five bars or ten bars of gold or whatever so try to get that it's double money so if you do the long run you're going to get double payout it's a very good time to start making money getting ready for this next um outlaw pass that comes out I guess in the next couple weeks, maybe, hopefully, in the next couple weeks. But um, that's pretty much it. They have a lot of stuff on sale, but the main thing is the trader roll, the, the roll that's inside your camp with Crips. Make sure you get that and do that this week, this whole week. Try to do as many as you can so you can stack up on your money because it's double money, it's double payout. But, anyway, thank you guys for liking, sharing, commenting, uh, subscribing, and all that stuff because I do appreciate each and every bit of it. It is your main man, Hitman, and remember to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys can get each and every video that I do put out because I do put out videos each and every day. Um, I think that's pretty much it. If you have anything to say to me or anything, drop it down in the comment section because I do read and reply to the comment section uh as soon as i do see them as soon as my, that i get the notification that i do got them but once again it's your main man hitman and i'm out